What's up guys, this is Brad at Hourglass Fab, and on today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how tungsten grind profiles can affect penetration, as well as go over some general tungsten preparation tips. And I'll also be listing the winners of the giveaway that I held last week, so stay tuned for that. So, let's get into it. Now when it comes to tungsten grind angles, that's gonna affect penetration. The sharper the tungsten, the less penetration. The more blunt and small of a taper, the more penetration. Let's take a flashlight for example, okay? You're gonna have your light that comes out here, and when it's on the wall, depending on how far away from the wall you are, it's gonna be a different size. So now that my flashlight is on and facing the wall and it's about seven feet away, this two inch diameter light here now makes a four and a half foot diameter circle on the wall. And that's kind of what the same principle is when it comes to your tungsten. When you have a very sharp point, your arc cone is gonna be very large. When you have a tapered point that's more blunt and small, your arc cone is going to be more narrow and you're gonna get that deeper penetration. How your arc comes off of the tungsten is the most important part. Now I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pictures with different electrodes sharp in different ways at different angles and how it affects the actual cone that's coming off of the end. It'll make a little bit more sense. When that electrode just has a blunt tip on it, how the arc comes off of that electrode is gonna be a lot tighter than how it would come off of a very sharp tipped electrode. Therefore, if your arc cone is that much tighter, then your puddle is gonna be smaller, your arc is gonna be more focused, and you're gonna be putting a lot more heat in a small area. Long sharp taper, less penetration, wider arc cone. Short stubby taper, more focused of an arc cone, deeper penetration. So this first tungsten grind profile is gonna be very short and stubby. And as you can see, arc starts are a little difficult, but as soon as it does get started, you can see how narrow that that actual arc cone is. And that's where you get that deep penetration from. This next picture is a medium grind profile. And you can see that that whole arc cone looks completely different than the last picture. And you can see that little red haze ring around it. And the actual cone is, is wider than the last one. And this is just a little sharper and the taper is just a bit longer. Now the next one, that's a really, really sharp electro. That's needle sharp. But look at that arc start. The arc start just starts right up, no problem at all. And you can also tell that the cone on this very sharp tungsten electrode has a lot wider arc cone. Now in all three strike an arc, you can tell that two of them were hesitating to initiate that arc. The one on the far left is the sharp tungsten. Far right is the blunt tungsten, and the one in the middle is the medium tungsten. So just from seeing that, you can tell that the more stubby, short grind you have on your tungsten is going to give you more penetration. It's going to have a smaller arc cone, it's going to be more focused. Now that would be good for some type of work where you really need the penetration. Now if you're welding some stainless steel exhaust, or some type of thin wall tubing, then maybe the very sharp tungsten would be the best option for you, considering it's gonna have the wider arc cone, better arc starts, a lot better arc control. It's gonna have a wider puddle, it's gonna fan that heat out, and it's not gonna be near as aggressive as the blunt tungsten would be. So the wider angle that you grind onto the tip of the tungsten, is gonna result in a narrower arc cone. You come over here to the 35 degree and your arc cone starts to expand, and the 25 degree even more so, because that line is coming off the face of the grind line at 90 degrees. Now as we go back to what I said, the narrower the arc cone, the deeper the penetration. For example, here you can see, if the arc cone is narrow, there's gonna be a more focused arc cone, more focused arc, deeper penetration because there's more heat in a smaller area. 
When you come over to the 25 degree grind angle, you can also see that the cone is very spread out. There's a lot of heat over a wide area, therefore your penetration is lessened. The blue line represents penetration. Basically, none of this is really science. None of it's skilled. All of my drawings are not perfect. My degrees are not perfect. This is basically just trying to give you an idea of actually what is happening when you're grinding your tungsten at different angles. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, hit that like button guys. If you want to follow along with more welding content, tool reviews, just shop tips in general, hit that subscribe button. Now two videos ago on the tungsten color video, we did a giveaway. It was a pretty good turnout and I appreciate everybody for entering. Now this giveaway was kind of split between Instagram and YouTube. And if you entered on both platforms, you had entered two times. Now I have picked the winners of the giveaway and there have been five selected. Now I've chosen the five winners already and we'll get to who won right now. ARCD Fabrication or Arced Fabrication, congratulations. Tinker King Creations, congratulations. Black Heart Fabrication, congratulations. Fab Forums, congratulations. Foots Fab, congratulations. Now by this point, I have already reached out and contacted you and asked you for your address. So get back to me with those when you can. I appreciate it. Again, thank you guys for watching another video and I hope everybody has a